Wednesday marked the 50th anniversary of the last American troops leaving Vietnam and the end of combat operations there. More than 58,000 Americans were killed in the Vietnam War, along with an estimated 3 million Vietnamese fighters and civilians. A Marine named Jim Webb made it home and went on to become a United States Senator who has worked to keep alive the memory of a divisive war and the people who fought it. Harry Smith has our Sunday Spotlight. There were few parades, little fanfare, just welcome home from family and friends for those who served in Vietnam. I was a rifle platoon commander and then a company commander in the 1st Battalion, 5th Marine Regiment in the Anwa Basin. Former U.S. Senator and highly decorated Marine officer Jim Webb remembers quite clearly. There were no roads, no tents, no running water, no toilets, uh, nothing. Last fall, Webb led a group of Notre Dame students to that battlefield. They needed to see this. They needed to understand what it was like for the people on the ground and particularly for the Marine Corps. Casualties for the Marines in that province were high. More than 7,000 killed. I think it was a very uh, uh, emotional and powerful experience for the students to go out there and to see where we had fought. While there, a local man appeared with a dog tag. Professor Mike Desch bought it for $20. Name and rank, Larry Hughes, Corporal. Webb wondered. Whether we were able to find him or, or his family uh, so that we could pay our respects to them. They did. I was like, oh, this has got to be some kind of scam or something. You know, obviously it doesn't sound real. Carl Hughes was wary. His Aunt Patricia broke down in tears. I just couldn't believe it. I said, are you serious? And he's like, yeah. And we just started crying. That was... It was so emotional. Mm -hmm. Corporal Larry Hughes was Carl's dad, Patricia Hughes, his sister. It took me way back in time as a teenage girl and my brother's gone. We don't know if he's going to come home. Corporal Hughes did come home to northern Florida, but passed away a couple years ago. Carl said his dad never spoke to him about Vietnam, yet. I joined the Marines as well, just like him, wanted to follow in his footsteps. As did Patricia's son. Yes, I have my son. My son served, he served in Iraq. I was in with a Marine Corps parents because we said we will never let our sons be treated like they treated the Vietnam vets. Right. Patricia told us her brother would change out of his uniform when he came home to avoid the stares and hateful words of some civilians. Jim Webb had the dog tag framed along with Corporal Hughes' military ribbons and a ceremony was held honoring his service. Webb and the Marines did it upright. He wouldn't have wanted so much attention, but I'm glad that not just him getting about all the Vietnam veterans, True to the Marine motto, Semper Fidelis, Semper Fi, always faithful. For Sunday Today, Harry Smith, Land Lakes, Florida. Harry, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.